Hi there, my name is Matti Sulanto. I'm a photographer based in Helsinki, Finland. It's a foggy Helsinki, Finland today. In this video I'm going to review this Leica 15mm f1.7 lens for the Micro Four Thirds system. If you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel and tap the bell also so you won't miss any of my future videos. I will publish a new video every Tuesday and every Friday. This Leica 15mm f1.7 is not a new lens. It came out already in 2014, so it's almost five years old design. And this is not also the first time I'm reviewing this lens. When I still had my Solanto blog website, I reviewed this lens when it was brand new. However, this lens deserves a review even today because the focal length is unique, 15mm. And this is a really nice all-around lens for many purposes like travel, environmental portraits and even the landscapes. This is a Leica branded lens, so it means it's a premium class glass in the Lumix product lineup. And it certainly feels like uh, a premium product also. It's very solid uh, build quality, the body is metal and it feels very robust. However, it's not weather sealed, which would be nice, for example, today, because it's um, foggy and a bit rainy. The Leica branding doesn't affect the price too much, fortunately. This lens goes for about 500 euros, including the tax here in Europe. And this can be had either in black or silver gray like this. And the lens hood is included in the price, which is good. And I think the lens hood should be included with every lens. This is a very small lens. It weighs only about 132 grams with the hood and the filter thread is 46 millimeters. The focal length is 15 millimeters, which equals to about 30 millimeters in full frame terms. It's a bit strange, but it's very close to the popular 28 millimeter equivalent focal length, and it's very suitable for all kinds of photography. The maximum aperture is f1.7, which makes this lens suitable also for low light action. However, there's no image stabilizer, but almost all the latest Lumix camera bodies have IBIS, which takes care of that. There is a manual focus ring, which is fly-by-wire, of course, and therefore lacks proper feel or feedback. But it's not a big downside, because most users will probably prefer to use the autofocus anyway. There is also another ring for the aperture. Panasonic likes to put aperture ring to some lenses, but not all lenses. And I'm not quite sure about the logic behind this, but I like the aperture ring and it looks good. But you don't have to use the aperture ring if you don't want to. Just turn it to A and use one of the command dials on your camera body. And if you have a camera body with only one command dial, you can use that for the shutter speed and then use the lens ring for the aperture. And that makes using the manual mode so much easier. The autofocus is really fast and accurate, as we have come to expect from Lumix and Micro Four Thirds generally, there are no large elements to move around. The sharpness and contrast are great already wide open, but they improve a bit by stopping down. The sweet spot is typically for Micro Four Thirds at around f2.8, f4. But like I said, already wide open, the optical performance is great. So there is no need to stop down for sharpness, but uh, <laughs> but you need to stop down a bit for more depth of field, of course. Uh, the distortions and chromatic aberrations are corrected electronically, so they are not visible. There is a hint of a bokeh fringing visible in some situations, but nothing to get really worried about. 
There's not a lot to say about the bokeh, because the relatively short 15mm focal length just doesn't provide much background blur, no matter what. This lens handles backlight beautifully, the contrast holds together really well, and there are no bad reflections or flare. I like this lens a lot, even though it's a bit wider than my all-time favorite, which is 35mm equivalent focal length. However, I can easily adapt to anything between 28 and 50mm focal lengths. And that puts this lens at the wide end of what I consider a usable general purpose lens. I could easily take this lens with me for a trip around the world, for example, and use it as my own lens. I really like this one lens idea. You'll learn your lens through and through when you use it all the time. And you also learn to see through that lens even without a camera. A compact lens like this would be perfect for something like that. I can sincerely recommend this lens. It's well built, has great optics and it's really compact. It's not cheap, but I think the price is okay for what you get. Have you ever used this Leica 15mm f1.7? If you have, please let me know in the comments below what you think of it. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.